Hi guys, we've been at the International Kosher Food Festival in Jerusalem and we just hit a bonus, we hit gold. We've got Susie Fishbein here from America. Wow! <laughs> and she, she's doing a lot of interesting things with food. She's now in Israel, she's looking at ideas. And generally, I want to ask you, what do you think of the Israeli food scene? I think the Israeli food scene is like none other. It's incredible. You can eat out every single meal and, and never exhaust your options. The quality is really interesting, fabulous, and I just, I like how all the different cultures come together. And you also write a lot of cookbooks, so yes. um, probably the number one Israeli cookbook would be Otolenghi, I would say. Yeah, yes. we, get a lot, we get a lot from him, what he does with the Israeli kitchen, the Middle Eastern kitchen. It's, it's pretty amazing, isn't it's it? It's incredible, although a shout out to my girl, Adina Sussman. Oh. I don't know if you know her book, Sababa, but that was a huge success. Oh, um, okay. She lives outside the Carmel Market and really wrote like a love letter to tell of the events of the Israeli food scene in that book. But just in summary, because I've, I've probably done about 300 food reviews in the last year and a half, and I'm trying now to use less superlatives, I'm trying less to get excited, because sometimes the same restaurant is good, and the next time it can be less good. So we just had that discussion about a hot new restaurant that I had a great experience at, Shimshon less so. And I, I asked him, I, I said, you're in an unenviable un 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 position. What, when, what happens when you go someplace and you don't like it, or you find things that are wrong? That must be very tough to decide uh, how to write. It is tough. I try to, to be honest and tell people what I thought about the meal. I don't want people to waste their time and money to go to a restaurant and, and, and go you. there and count on me, because I'll meet them the next day. Well, I just feel responsible. On the other hand, I don't want to get sued, because now we're hearing, uh, I spoke to a lawyer, uh, he's dealing with suing people for libel and, and all these kind of things. So it's kind of a very difficult balance here. Um, we're living a tough life with a lot of responsibility, but we're also pressing and having a lot of fun. So that's the main thing. <laughs> I can't wait to get into the food festival. I think What'd you will. What do you think of that? Uh, it was interesting, but I think you've got to start with the Georgian uh, food, the Khachapuri. You'll love it. <laughs> okay, Chag Sameach and Chag keep Sameach. up the good work. Thank you.